again. Naomi Klein, you use the term climate barbarism. Explain. Um, well, I, I use that term to describe the fact that, you know, we, we, we often talk about governments like the Trump administration as governments that are committed to climate change denial. Um, I don't think they deny the reality of climate change. I mean, Donald Trump has had to adapt the construction of his golf courses because of rising sea level. They all know it's happening. Um, but they think they're going to be all right. They think their families are going to be all right. They think wealthier countries are going to be all right. And these governments are adapting to climate change. They may not be adapting the way the United Nations would like them to adapt, by cutting emissions, by uh, by, by building you know, seawalls, whatever it is. They're building border walls. They're, they are adapting um, through this unleashing of white supremacist ideology and creating the intellectual rationale for allowing millions of people to die. I mean, that's what I mean by climate barbarism. We are already seeing many thousands of people being allowed to die in the Mediterranean. Um, it, it, we're seeing people left in migrant detention facilities that are are a lot like concentration camps, whether it's offshore uh, camps uh, set up by the Australian government, whether it's the European Union sending people to the Libyan camps, uh, and now the Trump administration setting up its own camps. Um, this is, I think, should be understood as a kind of climate change adaptation. This is what how they are proposing to deal with a world in which millions of people are being forced from their homelands. We already know just yesterday yesterday from the Internal Displacement Monitoring Center that 7 million people in the first six months of 2019 have been forced to move because of uh, floods, droughts, um, disasters, many of them linked to cli the climate crisis.